All right, so in this video, I have a pair of sneakers from New Balance that I tried out. And I gotta say that the sneaker cushioning in this might be better than Nike Zoom X, which is Nike's like cream of the crop cushioning technology, which is used on like a lot of the elite runners out there. Well, speaking of elite runners, this is New Balance's uh, Fuel Cell RC Elite as it says on the tongue. Now they do have a second version of these already. I didn't even know they were gonna have a second version of these, but I picked up a pair of these to just give a try from a casual perspective to see how comfortable they are, what they offer for a casual consumer out there, and uh, really just more about this fuel cell technology. So let's go ahead and get into this review video. What is going on guys, Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. Hopefully you guys are having a good day out there. If you guys are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you guys wanna shop any of the sneaker deals that I post for you guys on a weekly basis over on Collective Kicks, go ahead and check that out as well. If you guys also wanna buy a pair of the shoes that I'm reviewing for you, you can check the link in the description. Also exclusively for you guys on this channel, if you guys want to use my New Balance code, it will be linked in the description. It gives you 15% off of your New Balance order. There are some exclusions that apply to that, including these sneakers and a lot of the other fan favorites out there, unfortunately. But there are a lot of great options out there uh, for you that you can get a discount on, including some of the apparel and, and other products out there. So 15% uh, off if you guys are interested in that. But for this video, I really wanted to try these out and see how they were. I have tried a pair of fuel cell sneakers out. I think they were the Propels or something like that in the past. And I was blown away by how soft and squishy they were. And so I was like, you know what? I might as well just give a go the premium version. So the other pair was like 130. These ones are 225. So this is like the cream of the crop. This is like the ultimate elite trainer for New Balance. And it does say elite in the title. I don't know what the RC is for. If you guys know what the RC is for, for these, uh, leave a comment. But it does feature the fuel cell technology, which is a really insane, soft, squishy uh, midsole. But the difference between this and Fresh foam, from what I can see already, is that this has some squish and some return. Now, I'm honestly kind of confused if this is a good comparison to Nike React or Nike Zoom X because this is soft, squishy, lightweight, responsive, but it's kind of like a little bit of elements of both of the other Nike properties. It's super lightweight, lighter than Nike React, probably on par, if not lighter than uh, Nike Zoom X. And it's definitely softer and squishier than probably Nike React but maybe not Nike Zoom X. But my impression of the overall responsiveness of these, I would say it definitely has some more pushback, quicker, like springiness than Nike Zoom X, um, but maybe not Nike React. So that's where I'm like, kind of like, it's kind of like in the middle. It's a crazy sensation on feet, and it's crazy to just be able to squish these down and feel that uh, the, the fuel cell, it's nuts. It's definitely a really cool technology that uh, New Balance has created. So this is definitely like a more, of a responsive type trainer versus the fresh foam, which is more cushioned, like it absorbs more and it doesn't return as fast. But stay tuned on the channel. I will be doing a comparison between the fuel cell and the uh, New Balance fresh foam and give you guys kind of like a pro and con list of both of them. But both of them are amazingly good on feet. And it, it was honestly confusing at first because after trying some of the fuel cell, trying some of the fresh foam, from a casual perspective, like you're, it's, it's impressive. You're blown away as soon as you try them on, both of them. They're just soft, squishy, they, they have a lot of uh, a give when you're stepping in the shoes. But these have some more spring and bounce back and that's probably definitely preferred for those elite runners out there. Also, this does feature a carbon fiber plate in the midsole, which definitely adds to like the propulsion of the sneaker as you're kind of running forward. Uh, you can tell it has carbon fiber. You can't bend the shoe backwards. Anytime you have that, it's a pretty uh, good indicator that they have a carbon fiber plate inside of them. But some of the details that they give on New Balance's site, says gear up for race day with a lightweight and aggressive fuel cell RC Elite, pairing with the high energy return of fuel cell midsole with the efficiency of carbon fiber plate, this men's racing flat is a smart choice for half to full marathon racing. This men's shoe is streamlined synthetic upper with comfortable traditional collar, Minimal overlays help to keep the weight low while providing strategic support. It's for the fastest runs on the planet. Designed with insights and data from our most elite team New Balance athletes, the Fuel Cell RC Elite is the ideal marathon racer. And it also features a Dynalite outsole for lightweight traction. Now, that is definitely one of the selling points of the shoe is the fact that it's so incredibly lightweight. In fact, I have my scale here. Uh, to show you guys. This is 7.4 ounces. Uh, that's insanely light. This is a men's 9.5. I would say they definitely fit true to size. So we know it's lightweight, it's breathable, it's cushioned where it needs to be, has a really cool traction pattern on the bottom. 
Is it good for casual though is a question. And I would say yes, but with a caveat to that. I think that yes, this is definitely something that you can use for casual wear. It's really, really soft and squishy, comfortable, something that you can go, you could wear these to the grocery store and out and about walking down through the city or whatever, and you're probably your fastest PR ever. But um, but really like it's a great comfortable pair of sneakers and you know there is this crossover with sneakers that I always try to find of like this is made for elite performance athletes, this other shoe might just be made for casual wear. Where is that threshold though where you can have something that's elite made, soft, squishy, comfortable and everything else uh, that can also cross over to the casual lifestyle. The caveat being that yes it has a carbon fiber plate in it so there is a little bit of rocking motion there more so than what you might be used to on a regular pair of sneakers but it's not anything that's uh, obstructive when you're walking. And that's one thing that I wanted to point out. It's noticeable as in, I can see you definitely having uh, an advantage when you're running in the shoes and, and actually springing off and just having that continued momentum. But when you're walking around in it, you don't notice like it being like uncomfortable. Like some of the other runners with the carbon fiber plates in them just have a weird toe off like feel to it. And maybe I'm the only one that feels this way from a casual perspective, but that toe off part can be a little bit like ridiculous from a casual. I don't feel that in this uh, version of, of the carbon fiber runners. So I think it's something that you can use from a casual perspective. It's something that I've worn casually uh, for a week now and it's something that I enjoy. But the thing that I wanted to mention is that the fuel cell technology is the same across the board. So if you want something that's soft squishy without that carbon fiber plate, it's probably a better option to go with the other offerings of the fuel cell technology uh, and it's one of those things, if you guys actually want to see a video on them, please leave a comment and drop a like on this video and let me know you guys want to see it. But they do have another one out there, the Fuel Cell Rebel V2. That one specifically, I really want to see how it is because it looks very similar to these and it's basically the everyday trainer version of the Elites. Also, they do have the Propel. I, maybe the Propel is the one that I tried previously. I really want to try the Rebel though or the Propel. Maybe I'll try both of them and, and just see which one's better. The Rebel V2s are around the $130 price point. The Propel is only $99. So both of those I think are great options for an alternate if you want something for casual because it has the fuel cell technology uh, equally in both of those. It just doesn't have the carbon fiber plate in the middle. And so that's my takeaway from it. Yes, you can get away with these from a casual. And yes, uh, it's something that if you want to be that guy, which I like to be that guy, you want to have the elite runner version of something, uh, you can get away with this from a casual. And I think it's a really, really great, attractive looking pair of sneakers. But is it necessary? Probably not. You can definitely go the Rebel route with $130 and save you close to $100 uh, on that one. I don't know the weight of that one. So if you want something the ultra lightweight one This one's probably the lighter version the upper on this is really dope though I love the fused material and the fused look of the back section of the shoe how it fades to black right here And it goes thinner to darker. It just adds a really cool effect to the shoe Also kind of the the New Balance logo uh, right here is super rad like it's fused on top of the mesh Which is really cool. I also like the design on the midsole. It just is well constructed and you definitely notice it one of the other cool things is, is a crazy outsole on the bottom of the shoe. Now the new version, uh, the V2s do not have this. They went away with this traction uh, on the newer version. Maybe some of these nibs just ended up uh, rocking out or falling out, but uh, but it looks really cool. I like the, the look of it nonetheless. Anyways, have you tried the RC Elites or not? Leave a comment in the comment section. Have you tried Fuel Cell at all from New Balance? Just in any model, leave a comment also on that and let other people know what you guys think. Is it good or bad? Uh, what are the things that you like or dislike about the technology? And I'll plan on doing a uh, comparison video to this and Fresh Foam that I already mentioned. But if you guys want to buy the $130 Rebels, the Propels at $100, or the RC Elites for $225, link in the description, take you over to New Balance's site. Anyway, thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Much appreciated. Have a good rest of the day. Hopefully we'll see you back for more videos. Peace, guys.